day six, Cuba, Emilia, Los Dones. This is our last breakfast. Of course, we went for the uh, mango. And I did the same old, same old omelet and the whole bit. Uh, always get my coffee later. So after that, Carol should be here any second now. She, uh, I'm not sure she, what she's getting. She must be getting an omelet and lined up on a different lineup than I did. So we're gonna get this done and then we're gonna probably take the sailboat to the snorkeling place again or further and then walk back. So the walk there and back was good. But we just don't wanna do that again today and waste time. So we also wanna get a sail in. So we're kind of combining two things into one. So we'll get on the sailboat hopefully, pay him to take us way down the beach, drop us off at a really good snorkeling place like yesterday. And uh, I haven't looked at the footage from yesterday. I'm hoping it's freaking awesome. But uh, if it's not, we'll have to shoot it all over again next year. No. Good to see you. I'll finish breakfast. Went back to the room, grabbed our stuff, all ready to go snorkeling. Got the waterproof case. But we're going to ask again the, uh, the sailboat guys if they'll take us down to the good snorkeling area. Let's do it. Got down to the beach, and the guy's like, uh, it's five dollars per person to take you over to the snorkeling area, and he waits with you the whole time until you come back, so we don't have to walk there or back, but what he said, he says, oh, do you have bread? And I'm thinking, is that a slang or does he mean bread? <laughs> so I'm like, what? And he's like, do you speak French? And I'm like, oh, bread. <laughs> I said, no, I don't have any bread. It's like, yeah, you bring it for the fish. And I totally remembered that yesterday or thinking about that while we're scooping or snorkeling. I should have brought bread. bread. So this guy reminded me, which is awesome. And I am going the wrong way. I'm going further away than I need to. So from the beach I had to go all the way back to our room and get more money because I only we only had about six pesos or eight pesos we needed ten and then I had to walk all the way back to the main lobby area where the food is and grab try to go for the hardest bread I could find so I found a bun and of course everything's fresh today uh, so I found like an end piece things that don't come apart that easily in water but uh, yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Back to the beach. It's sailing time. it all the way down to basically where Carol and I went yesterday we went even further down here but he's like this place is good especially if you have the bread we didn't actually snorkel here we only snorkeled over there so we kind of went maybe too far he just like threw some bread into that water there and the fish went crazy uh, again if you go snorkeling here bring some bread I don't know if we have two uh, plastic bags for you to have one and me to have one, or do you want me just to carry the food? Yeah, you can carry the food. Kel doesn't <laughs> want any attention whatsoever from the fish. <laughs> Ciao.
Had a great time snorkeling. Our guy is back to take us back to the hotel. Carol's still feeding the fish. Carol's come a long way from being terrified at the cottage with freshwater baby fish to man-eating, bread-eating little tiny ocean fish. But they got some of them got pretty big. It's time to go back. the front lobby once again in the middle of a torrential downpour we were at the pool for quite a long time drank some stuff swam slept I don't even know what time it is came to the lobby to check emails and stuff and talk to the kids and that happened again Woo! Nice little car though. Look at that. It is pouring off that roof. Lightning. Listen, wait for it. Rumble. This is a Buick. Oh, well, there's a hole. Huh. Maybe you shouldn't have parked it there. It's unbelievable that these cars are still running. Like I said, there's no shocks or springs in them. They just like bought them out. Right now it smells like earth. Hmm. And old water. That that's just what it smells like. That's all I'm... Hmm. Like up in Muskoka, when it rains like this, this smells like earth and air and oxygen. I know air doesn't smell, but I know the oxygen doesn't smell. It's crazy. Oh, another lightning strike. Look at this thing. Need like an eaves truss, but here they don't have any. But in here they've got like little flowways. Yeah, they got a eaves truss right there. Why they don't have it on the front? I don't know. Crazy. So when the rain comes like this, they usually pull down those shades that are right there, and then pull the furniture away from the edge so they don't get soaked like they did yesterday. Hola! And that's what we're doing this afternoon, our last day. You think Cuba would be nicer to us? Howdy, partner. Howdy, partner. Oh, hola. Hola. <laughs> you mean hola. That was like way off by like... On purpose. Oh, it was a joke. Come on. What? That was a joke. Bonjour. Come on, ça va. Meow. 
muy, muy bien. Camera off. Just finished dinner at the Columbus. It wow. was the same so, dinner. Yeah, tonight it, it, it was called the restaurant was called the Romantico. The Romantico, which but had was, nothing to do with Romantico, is exactly the same menu, everything, atmosphere as a couple nights ago. Yeah. But again, the food was phenomenal. The steak is definitely the steak and shrimp is the way to go. Uh, if you sweet talk your server, we didn't even have to sweet talk our server the first time. She just offered me, she saw how fast I ate my food. <laughs> and instead of, you know, being on my side and not giving me more food, she decided to be against me and give me more food. So I got double plates last time. She gave me double plates oh. this time. Puddles. Puddles and it's raining. Obviously, I'm using an umbrella. And I got my poncho. And Carol had the ch chicken. Is the chicken just as good as the last time, or? Yeah. Good? That was good. Well, our last night here in Cuba, we had a great dinner. Uh, apparently, if you come to Cuba, bring a really nice backpack, because uh, the woman who was serving us really was interested, and same with the guy who was in the lobby, the main, the check-in guy. They both offered me I guess they were both interested in that backpack because they don't get anything like that in Cuba. Anyway, we had a great time in Cuba. We are going to go pack, relax. Are we going to go over there? Yeah, let's go. See I want to go check happening. to see if they have that coffee thing. Okay. So have a. I'm glad you guys came with us on this adventure, and I uh, look forward to tomorrow's adventure of getting home safe and sound. Yes. Good night. Good night.